All right. I say Seth a lot. It's almost like a tick. It means everything, too. You just say, Seth! The first instrument that I ever got was a trumpet, actually. My dad got me a trumpet because he played trumpet when he was in high school. I think he wanted to live vicariously through me, so he got me a trumpet. And the first time I ever played in front of people was just me and my friend Dan from middle school. We auditioned for the talent show, and I sang. And they told me that if I didn't, that we would be in it. So we did an instrumental thing at the talent show because it was a bad idea for me to try singing. But I tried it and it was, man. I think that a huge moment in everybody's, like, I guess, musical pursuits is finding yourself and finding your voice and whatever you want to do. And I feel like a lot of people, you know, as you grow up, you can't, like, I rarely I feel like people just immediately start doing what it is they're meant to do. Um, that's why, you know, in high school, I was like in all these like weird, you know, like punk or like synth rock bands and like doing this stuff and trying to sing in a way that just wasn't for me and like writing styles that just it didn't fit, it didn't click. And I remember a moment in my life that was huge where I really felt like I found my niche in the world of music and what I was supposed to be doing. Toy Soldiers first started and uh, it was just me and my friend Mike Bauer. Uh, we were a duo for a while and, and he was the drummer and I sang and played guitar and, and you know wrote the songs and it was time to do vocals and the song Throw Me Down. We, we were riding home, we were riding bikes around Philly and we like came up, we started singing the song out loud and that's how we wrote the song, it's called Throw Me Down. And uh, we got back to the house and we like worked out all the instrumentation. I was sitting in the basement by myself and I like pressed record and I had headphones on. And I started recording the vocals of the song and it was almost like uh, like some other person like took over my body. Like I was singing in a way that I just never did before. Like this loud, like howling kind of like blues song. And I had never sang anything like that before, or sang in that way before. And that was kind of like an oh shit moment for me. Cause I was like, what the, f like what just happened? Like what just came out? I didn't, I couldn't really even comprehend it, but I like did the whole take and I think that was just what we kept. It was just a weird moment, voice finding moment, you know, that uh, I just kind of wrote out from then on, just like singing this way and writing this way, and I feel like that's when I found found whatever the hell I was supposed to be doing. And I really still don't know if I, that's what it is, but it's some sort of direction. But not having to worry, I guess. It's a good one. But, worry about what? You know, just, I don't know, worry about hustling all the time, you know, like playing four gigs a day and, and doing this and doing that and running all around, just like hustling to make it buy and pay rent. It would be cool to take this thing that spent most of my life trying to, to create and having it pay off in a way where I don't have to worry about that. Like, oh my God, what the fuck am I gonna do? I mean, rent's due next week. Better find a gig, better do this, better, you know, who owes me money kind of stuff. I mean, just to not have to worry like that, be comfortable doing the one thing eventually is, is, is an immediate goal, which would be nice. I don't know, we shall see. But either way, you know, can't stop, won't stop whatever whatever may come of it so